And this new video showing people being loaded into the back of a white pickup at gunpoint across the border. This morning, you're being warned about traveling to parts of Mexico. Thanks for being here at 6 a.m. Everyone, I'm Eric Connard and I'm Netta Irampour. Now we don't definitively know the people in that video are in fact the four Americans who were recently kidnapped. The FBI would not confirm the video's authenticity, but it does match what the FBI is saying happened there. The Americans were kidnapped in the eastern border town of Matamoros. We want to show you where that is. This was on Friday right by Brownsville, Texas, right near that southern east southeastern border. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol joining us live from the San Isidro area with new information on this. Dana Marie. Well, good morning, Eric and Netta. We're now actually just learning the identities of those four Americans that were kidnapped. And I'm going to share with you <clears throat> right now. We have Lativa J. McGee, Shahid Woodward, Eric James Williams, and Zindel Brown. We're also learning why they were making that trip into Mexico. It appears that they were going down there for medical reasons, a tummy tuck surgery, a cosmetic surgery. Now, Mexico's president actually told reporters he believes the Americans were caught in a crossfire between two violent groups that they were actually may have been targeted by mistake. The war in Tamaulipas is between the Gulf Cartel and then also the cartel known as the Cartel de Noroeste. Both of them are extremely violent. <clears throat> now, that was Michael Vigil, a former chief of international operations with the DEA. He says you're basically playing with fire if you go into a Mexico as an American citizen in this area. This video shows the moment armed men forced a woman into the back of a pickup truck when two others who appear hurt were loaded next to her. Right now, Mexico has created a special task force to search for the four Americans. The FBI says unidentified gunmen fired the group on that group shortly after they crossed the border, driving this white minivan with North Carolina plates. A Mexican national was unfortunately killed in the crossfire. The FBI is offering a $50,000 reward for the safe return of those four Americans and the arrest of those responsible. Matamoros is a hotbed for cartel violence, and it's under a State Department Level 4 Do Not Travel Advisory. That's the highest level warning. Now, Mexico does have multiple different levels of travel advisories. Tijuana, for example, is under a Reconsider Travel Advisory due to crime and kidnapping in non-tourist areas. Officials say most homicides appear to be targeted here in Tijuana. However, one could be caught in the crossfire as a bystander. So if you're planning on traveling to Mexico, especially soon as a spring breaker, please check online. Mexico has multiple different travel advisories for the different areas of Mexico where you could be traveling. So it's better safe than sorry going into a vacation that could end up not the way that you expected. I'm Dana Marie McNichol coming to you live from San Isidro.